All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. Today is part two in our carbon fiber filament printing series from Bamboo Labs. And today we'll be printing PLACF. But before we get started, I wanna answer a couple of questions and comments that I received in the first video in this series. The uh, One of them is about the drone. So I have this old iFlight drone that I have busted the frame on several times. I've replaced the frame on it several times. It's not super fun to replace it with the same frame anymore. I needed something cool to print to show how to print all of these different carbon fiber filaments. So we'll see if we can make a drone work. My hopes are not all that high on there. And it is not my main drone. This is my main drone as well as some of the other ones that I'm building. Um, so. Number one, it's just a throwaway drone. We're gonna see if we can make it work before you guys go out and try to build a five inch uh, drone out of this, out of carbon fiber filament. Let's see if we can make this little one work. So that's the whole goal of the video there. And I just needed something to print to show off how to print these different filaments. Now, the second comment that I um, have received a few of is the AMS compatibility and the Bamboo Wiki stating that carbon fiber filaments um, are not recommended in the AMS. And I believe at the time that that was written, that was true. And the only carbon fiber filament that Bamboo had at the time was PACF, which is this filament here. Um, and I don't think this is recommended through the AMS. But since that wiki has been written, PETCF, PAHTCF, and PETGCF have been released by Bamboo Labs. These are fairly new filaments and the reason why I ordered them to print these videos. Um, so I think a more updated recommendation on how to use the different filaments is going to be on the product page simply because when the wiki was written, this was the only carbon fiber filament that they offered. I could be wrong about that, but I believe that's where the disconnect is. For me, they put AMS compatible in big red letters at the top of some of the product pages. I'm going to go by that. Other ones, they say not compatible in big red letters with the AMS. I'm gonna follow the big red letters. You guys do what you wanna do. That's what I'm gonna do. And that's what we're gonna do today. So sit back and relax. I'll get everything ready. Let's print some PLA CF. Lem Dizzle Production. All right, so the first place that we'll look is the PETGCF that we printed in last week's video. And we'll see right at the top of the page, dry out before use, which we did that, as well as the AMS compatible. So that's why we used it with the AMS there. This week, we'll be printing PLACF, and as you can see, dry out before use, AMS compatible. Now, it doesn't say AMS compatible on all of the carbon fiber filaments. In a future video, we'll be printing with PETCF, and that is not AMS compatible. So I do believe these product pages are more up to date on the recommendations for these things. So today with PLACF, we're gonna follow the AMS compatible, and we're also gonna dry it out before use. So let's get started on drying it out. All right. So how you get to the drying of the filament is we're gonna hit these little switches right here. We're gonna to go to utilities and we'll see right here, dry filament. And we will switch this to PLACF. We need to be at 55 degrees for this one. And we're gonna to want to do it for eight hours. All right. So first step is to remove anything. And then second step is to click the prepare button. So I removed everything from the uh, Bamboo X1. I'll hit the prepare button and let it, let it do its thing. All right, so once you're done with the prepare and it's done all of that stuff, we'll go ahead and hit confirm. And we've already set the PLACF. 
We do need to make sure that this is set to 55. Eight hours. And then we're going to put the spool in there and hit the start button. Um, so let me show you how to put the spool in there. I'll be right back. All right. So I got the PLA CF out of the box. This is what it looks like. Not sure how well you can see. Okay, so how we dry it out is we're going to set it right here in the middle. And there's two ways you do need to cover this. There's two ways that you can do that. You can take an old box like I did on the last one, and you can set it over it like that. Or in step three, it also recommends printing out a cover for it. Now, you do need to print the cover out in a high temp material, um, and it recommends PC. So I did... Re I did print this out of PC and print it out the cover for it. So we'll go ahead and cover it, shut the door and we'll hit the start button. I'll see you back in eight hours. All right, so the drying is complete. We'll hit confirm and then we'll take it out and put it in the AMS. All right, so like I said before, I'll be putting the carbon fiber filament in this slot of my second AMS, right? So this is the slot that I use the very least. Um, even though it does say AMS compatible, um, the carbon fiber is the uh, harshest filament that you can run through here. So I'm not gonna run it through the main uh, piece of my AMS because that's what I use the most and that's probably got more wear and tear on it than this slot does. You know, in the six month or in the nine month maintenance, I'll probably replace all the tubes in here as preventative maintenance anyway, but I'm gonna run this in the least used one that has the strongest tube on there. If you're not comfortable with that, by all means, run it in a separate spool, um, like I'm gonna show when we do the PETCF. But for this one, I'm gonna do it in the AMS, and this is how I'm gonna load it in there. And I'll see you in the slicer. All right, now we're in Bamboo Studio. We have our drone frame in here. And we'll see that in slot eight, where I put the carbon fiber, we still have that PC that's loaded in here. And how you update it is just by hitting the sync button, resync, and we'll see that this changed to the Bamboo PLACF. Now, the easy way to get all of these to change to that is to just go to these objects, select the first one, hold shift, select the last one, and all I do is push the number eight, and that changes it all to that filament. That's the easy way to do all of them. And we'll see that once it's changed to this PLACF, if we go in here, it's changed all of the flow rates, all of the t nozzle temperatures, um, all of the different plates that we can use with this um, cool plate, engine, uh, high temp plate. We'll use the high temp plate for this, um, or you could use the textured PEI plate. But all of the settings are in here. I'm not going to mess with any of those. I'm just going to let it print as is. Unless I have some issues with it, then I'll change the stuff in there. But I'll let it go the way it is right now. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and hit slice plate. And we'll see it's taken about the same amount of time as the other one did. And 21 grams, about the same amount of grams on there. So we'll go ahead and hit print plate. And we'll make sure this is one confusing thing right here. If we'll see this says B4 and this is a eight right here. And Bamboo Labs, if you're out there, this is super confusing for everybody. What this is saying is my B AMS, which is my second one, fourth slot, which is correct. But over here it calls it eight, over here it calls it B4. Kind of confusing. Anyway, so we'll go ahead and send that over and get it printed out. I'll see you after it's done. All right, so it's all done printing. I do see a little bit of a stringing there. We'll go ahead and take a look at it.
All right, so let's take a look at it. So there was that one little error there, but doesn't look too bad. Yeah, you can really see some gaps in it with that 0.6 millimeter nozzle. It doesn't seem as flimsy or bendable as the other one, except for that is woof. All right, so we'll set that to the side. And this is what it looks like next to the PETG. As you can remember from the first video, very shiny, the PETG, and you can see that here. All right, on to the next. <laughs>